Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. This is going to be a really quick guide for you to get the Double Pack a Punch opened up on Shaolin Shuffle. I should note that I have separate guides on my channel for opening up the regular Pack a Punch and getting the power on, both of which you need to do in order to complete this guide. So, first things first, in order to get Double Pap, is to open this portal here using your Shaolin ability. Just give it a kick or give it a punch. That portal, which is next to the lounge and next to the actual Pack a Punch room itself. The other portal you need to open up is by Racing Stripes, so from Spawn, it's on this roof here. And then, if you make your way back over to the Pack-A-Punch room, which I'm going to be going into now, you'll see that there's a button on the wall. If you press that button, you activate a timer, and you then have about 20 seconds to get back to the Racing Stripes machine. The reason I told you to open those portals is that that's by far the quickest way to get back to the machine. But don't make the mistake that I made of taking the portal to get to Pack-A-Punch and to try and go back again because it'll be on a cooldown. Anyway, go through the portal and some fuses will be inside that little black box on the wall. If the box isn't open, it means that you haven't been quick enough. And I'm not sure there might be some reliance on you having done the Space Land Easter Egg for this as well because it's double pap. Not 100%, but best case scenario, you've already done those Easter Eggs anyway and so you don't need to worry about that. Come to the subway and place those fuses that you've just picked up on the subway tracks as you can see I'm doing in the gameplay here. Then wait around until you see the train come past, so the green lights will come on, the train will run over the fuses and then you'll be able to pick them back up again and as you can see they'll be kind of, I guess, electrified in your inventory, they'll be charged up essentially. You'll then be able to go back to the Pack-A-Punch machine, enter the room, and again here, I just used the Pack-A-Punch because I'm an absolute melon and so I had a little bit of a cooldown and had to wait, but that's alright. Go back into the Pack-A-Punch room, place the fuses inside the Pack-A-Punch, and then you're basically done. You can Pack-A-Punch as you normally would, and then double Pack-A-Punch as you normally would in the previous maps as well. Obviously, it costs more to double pap. It's 10k instead of the 5k it costs to regular pap. Uh, right now, I'm actually going to be showing you some gameplay of me using a regular papped gun and then switching to the double papped version just so you can get a feel for what it looks like, what the camo is, that sort of thing. Because I know a lot of people, when they see these sorts of guides, uh, want to see the thing being done in action. So here it is for you on the screen. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, and I think I'm going to let the gameplay run now so you can just take a look at it and see what you think of double pack punched weapons in Shaolin Shuffle. Thanks for watching. Like I've said, peace out. Never gonna happen. 